All right, Casey Scott uh, joining us this morning. He's at Highland Junior High in Ogden. Casey Ogden has been getting a whole lot of snow everywhere. Salt Lake to the north with the most snow probably this week. How do they keep the schools open? I know students would love to just hear it's closed for a week. Not happening, though. No, we're going to find out. And I just drove in from Davis County, and I don't know if my, my knuckles are still white because it was an insane drive up here. Uh, the cameraman didn't think I was going to show up, so he didn't even get out of his car until I pulled in. So, yeah, when I was a wish for and very rarely ever happened, uh, and now we're getting more snow than I can ever remember, and the schools are staying open. But if they do have to close, that's not good for parents who rely on that for a safe haven for these guys while they work. But I want to come over here and introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend. His name is Maurice. How are you doing this morning? Oh, great, man. Yourself? I, I'm not doing too bad except for the white knuckle drive up here, but uh, you're tasked with making sure the schools are ready to open. What consists of that? Well, it consists of us getting up real early and coming out here, driving in, and able to uh, move the snow. Lots of snow. Lots of snow, and you've got this uh, little kabuto here that's going to help you do that. Uh, and uh, what's this season been like for you so far? Well, it's been uh, amazing because it's been snowing since Monday, and this is the most snow that we had all year, uh, even last year. And so it's great for, for the water, but it's hard to catch up. So we're trying to keep up, you know, with the snow. And, and, and you're doing a wonderful job because... Uh, 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 have you guys had to close yet? Not yet, because we are out here doing that job. The number one school district in the state, Ogden School District. I love that. Well, I'm going to let you fire that bad boy up and let you get to work. I'm going to bring in Jared Bates real quick. Come on in here. And uh, for those at home, what makes a snow day possible? How much snow do you need to do? What, what does that? Well, what we really have to do is we'll get up at 5 a.m., we'll assess conditions across the district, and we'll look at a couple of factors. Um, what do the roads look like? What does accumulation look like at our schools? And what does the forecast look like projected out this morning? So we had a real serious talk this morning. Do we need to have a delay? What we looked at is the forecast calling for snow to taper off around 7 o'clock. Most of our students aren't going to start arriving to school until 7.30 or later. So we're crossing our fingers, relying big time on guys like Maurice over there to be out doing their job, that great work that they do, to make sure that by the time kids and our faculty do start showing up, that the roads and parking lots are clear. I love that. So uh, we're going to send it back to you guys. And unfortunately, if your kids have uh, woke up this morning and says, hey, I want a snow day, Probably not going to happen. School's in session. We'll send it back to you guys. We'll see you in a little bit. If you have school officials out without a coat on when it's in the 20s, I mean, I guess they're saying, kids, no excuse not to be here. Yeah, I can brave it. Yeah, growing up in California, <laughs> that wasn't an option. That's it was right. No, that's <laughs> right. Bundle really. up if it's no snow 60s. days. Yeah. yeah. Every morning, my son asks, is it a snow day? No, it's not. <laughs> no, you're going to school. <laughs>